Yeah. This is my computer. Um. I need help with it. Because, uh. Right now. Uh, watch this. It's weird. Um. I have the True Crypt bootloader on it, but I also have Ubuntu 10.04 encrypted on it. Crypto. And yes, that was my bio screen. Usually goes to trick it bootloader. That's all it does. Press escape and want to do. As you can see, it boots into Windows. There's nothing in this drive. Alright, it's off. Now I'm going to put in this disc I found on the internet called Super Grub, Super Grub Loader. And I'm running it to the house. I'm going to computer boot up again. Set to automatically boot from the CD drive. Now, if I go down to uh, enable Grub's LVM s support for the encryption, and I go to detect any Grub 2 installation, even if MBR is overwritten. And then grub HD uh, finds the grub in the HD0 uh, partition 8. And if I boot from that, it'll, it'll, it'll find grub. I have a boot partition. But, but I cannot, I can't click on Windows there because it's not covered by the TrueCrypt. It only is when I do it the other way. But here I can still run Linux, and it starts with the crypto. Now it's just saying the the crypt set was successful. And as you see, it starts up like usual. I have a copy of the TrueKit boot, uh, master boot record and the TrueKit backup of the master boot record, both on my desktop. 
I need to know how to get uh, to get True Crip rewritten to the Master Boot record, so then I can edit it and do a chain of the to the True Crip Master. Well, yeah, help me if you can. Thanks.